Okay, this is an isometric drawing of an interior view of a bedroom. So the first thing we need to do is construct the room itself. So roughly about halfway on the page, if you draw a vertical line down to about the halfway point in the page, and then we're going to draw a 30 degree line going down to the left on this side, and a 30 degree line going down to the right on this side, making sure the on the grid and at 30 degrees. This is going to be the floor area, this is going to be the wall, this is going to be another wall on the side. So we just need to mark on where the bed's going to go. So you pick a point on the wall, so the width of the bed is determined here. And then with a 30 degree line, we bring that out. We've got a 30 degree line on this side, and then we've got another 30 degree line which determines the length of the bed. Then we want to mark on, just next to the bed, a bedside table. So again, a mark on the wall, on that 30 degree line, and then draw a 30 degree line out, and another one. And then we cap it off, going the opposite direction with a 30 degree line. So this is the base of the bedside table. Then over here, we're gonna draw a wardrobe. So again, a mark on the wall, the width of the wardrobe. I'm gonna bring it in with a 30 degree line, another 30 degree line, but it's important we stick to the grid, and then we bring that across at 30 degrees. Then on the right hand side, on the wall here, I'm going to mark on here where the door's going to go. So I'm going to draw a vertical line this time, another vertical line, and then we need a 30 degree line which stop or caps off the height of the door. What we then need to do is make these into crates. So we're going to draw vertical lines on all of the corners. So because the wardrobe is going to be much taller than the bed, these are going to be longer vertical lines. The bed's going to be a bit smaller, so we're going to draw a vertical line on each of the corners, but this is not as high as the wardrobe, like so. so move that across. And the same with the bedside table. This is not going to be as high as the wardrobe, but it's, uh, it's going to be about a similar size to the bed in terms of height. And what we need to do is decide upon the height. So here, this is going to be the height of the wardrobe. So we need to finish that off along the top. So I'm sticking to the isometric grid, drawing a series of 30 degree lines all the way around, which should match up, which completes the crate for the wardrobe. For the bedside table, we're gonna pick the height. So we're gonna draw a 30 degree line going to the left and then continue that around. And the same with this one, 30 degree line to here. If you've got any overshoots at this end, as in they go higher than what you actually need, you could use them as a bedside table, uh, sorry, as a headboard. And the same with, uh, let's say, this one. We've got a 30 degree line here. I'm following the grid around, bring it back on itself, and I'm going to finish that off with a 30 degree line on there. Uh, what we then can do is, if you wanted to, you could draw a window on here. I've got a vertical line, 30 degree line, I've got another vertical line, and I've got a 30 degree line on the side. Okay, so that's the first phase. That gives us all the crates that we need for the bedroom.